In this video we're going to look at how to use a Baofeng with a Signalink USB sound card as a sound card interface into a computer to use the Winlink RMS Express software for packet RF email. So you can see here I have my Baofeng set to a common packet frequency of 145010. From here we have a uh, Kenwood style adapter cable that goes into the back of my signal link into the radio port. A USB connector here from the signal link going through a USB hub in my case into my laptop. On the signal link you want to have the delay set all the way to the left to the uh, as far as you can turn it counterclockwise then I usually run my TX and my RX settings around the 10 o'clock position, somewhere in there. Have the power turned on, otherwise you won't be able to transmit through it. So once you have that set up, the next thing to do is start sound modem. And this software is available from this website, uz7.ho.ua slash packetradio.htm you can find the uh, sound modem software there we'll go under settings first we'll start with devices here you want to make sure that the uh, output device is set to your USB interface same with the input sometimes these will get changed to uh, point to your speakers or your microphone you don't want that you want to make sure it's on the USB you want to have dual channel off. All four of these checkboxes should be checked. The TX rotation, the signal channel op single channel output, color waterfall, and stop waterfall on minimize. Sample rate, 10, or it's 110250, 110250, priority highest. And then it's very important that you have this KISS server port active, and we'll leave it set to 8100 enabled. Now we'll go check the uh, modems settings. On the modems, what we want to do is we want to have, um, we can leave this at default settings. This needs to be on AFSK AX.25 1200 baud. And everything else can stay as is. Down here, this number you may have to play with a little bit depending on your radio. Um, I've even found like from one Baofeng to another, uh, what I need to have in here varies. We'll try two, 400 here and 200 here. Um, it's a little bit of trial and error. Hopefully these are good numbers to start out with. We don't need to worry about the B side, so we'll ignore all of that. Hit OK. And now what you can see here is this, uh, this is my waterfall rolling here. I can check real quick and make sure that things are, are connected right by hitting the monitor button on my radio. And of course my waterfall lights up. I can also kind of check the levels, see that there's not too much red and the frequencies I care about. You can see the frequencies that you care about are uh, here. That's another another point to keep in mind is you need this this number to be kind of in the right range. So we'll leave that at 1700. So now that we have that running, we'll start up RMS Express, also known as Winlink. And then we'll go under um, we want to change our session here to packet winlink. This needs to be on packet winlink. And then we'll say open session. From here we'll go into settings. This needs to be on KISS. We want this to be in ACK mode. The serial port will be TCP and then this should be 127.0.0.1 with a port of 8100. Down here, uh, again you can play with these a little bit. Uh, your maximum frames are going to control how many things can be in flight at a time. Higher numbers give you a little bit, um, well you can play with it. Um, the maximum packet length, this is another one you can play with. Lower numbers you have better reliability but much slower transfers. Higher numbers 
more chance that your packet's going to get messed up in flight, um, but you can get better throughput. You do need to have enable iPoll checked as well. So we'll go ahead and update this, and it's going to cause this to restart. Alright, so now we can see initializing KISS over TCP. Initialization complete and ready. Uh, I'm going to be connecting to W1SCR's gateway here, and I'm going to go through a repeater in town known as Christ, so I'm set to Digipeter. If you have a direct connect, direct line of sight to, um, to a gateway, you can go direct. I don't have that from my house, so we're going to use the Digipeter. And we're just going to give this a shot and see how it goes. We'll uh, pop up sound modem so we can watch some of the traffic coming back here. I'm going to hit start. Oh, I should mention this. Yes, so you can choose your channels here. So I've chose W1SCR-10. You can update this list by saying update table via internet. And now i got to switch back to my Digipeter. Alright, and then you want 1200 baud for, uh, for most of these gateways. Okay, so we can see I'm transmitting. And then it, Christ echoed it back. And you can see the handshake. So the red, the red text is my transmit, and then since I'm going through a digipeter, I see it echoing back to me, and then I can see the, the traffic coming back. So this is sound mode, and this is like my software TNC here, and then over here I can see what Winlink is doing. So right now it's downloading some messages. It looks like I have two messages to receive, so those are coming in now. You can also watch progress here. So I've received 409 bytes, I've sent 94. Now I just finished downloading a message. Here it's downloading my second message. You can see it's the progress bar is working its way across. For some reason the progress bars on receives go from right to left. Alright, we're getting close to having the full message received. Also, you can see the messages are appearing up here in my inbox as they come in. It should be doing a disconnect now. Okay, end of, uh, end of session, messages sent zero, messages received two, and now here's the disconnect. Now I can hit exit, and here's my, my messages that came in. That is all there is to using Winlink with a Balfang and a SignalLink uh, modem. S sound card rather. Thanks for watching.